Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you're having a great day. Let's take one more look here at AVAX, see what's going on here as uh, Bitcoin rounds itself back up to 92,000. It does look like Bitcoin's on the bullish side of things here, still honoring its ascending trends and uh, doing fairly well above its support range. So uh, I'd like to mention this so you understand specifically that Bitcoin is uh, it's doing fairly well and there's more likelihood of further upside than downside. That does play into any altcoin, specifically AVAX too, just based on how it's been performing contrary to Bitcoin and in line with Bitcoin. So we'll look at those things too, the, the correlation and the uh, dissimilarities there, and just kind of understand where we're at here. So obviously we saw the price action break above this descending trend line. Ever since then, it hasn't looked back. What we'll look at too, there's a few important factors here. Basically, these key support levels, which uh, are looking pretty solid as far as holding is concerned. And then of course, back-end data here too for liquidation. So let's take a quick look at the back-end liquidation levels here and kind of go from there. And while we're loading this up, I just want to say thank you so much for being part of my life. Deeply appreciate all the wonderful comments below. Um, a lot of AVAX communities, uh, or most of my communities, most everyone from there, Grand, there's trolls everywhere, of course. They're, they're all very supportive and pretty awesome. So thank you again to my community uh, for just being a great part of my life. Please hit the like button, comment below. Get this uh, a chance to get in front of more people here, right? We want more people to, uh, well, just see what good practice is for trading versus just kind of being a uh, <laughs> babbling buffoon. Um, no offense to any you know moon boys out there, but not everything goes to the moon. There's, there's price action that has to happen first, right? So with this period of consolidation here between 34 and just say 37 roughly, it's a very, very good sign preparing for the next leg up. Most altcoins that start ranging like this usually end up breaking to the upside because it's somewhat of a rectangle pattern. While this isn't exact, it's certainly a, a much better uh, trading chart than most coins right now, okay? And that's difficult, or not difficult, but it's it's weird to say because AVAX has notoriously been pretty, pretty, uh, slow to the slow to the the recovery here, and then recently absolutely just turned a page right once we got over that thirty dollar mark. Anyways, if we look at liquidation, we can see thirty seven thirty to thirty eight dollars is that heavy concentration on the on the top in there. We look at the we zoom out, we kind of look at it. We can see this is roughly one between here and thirty nine dollars. I would say we're close to about a billion dollars in liquidation up there. Okay. Uh, again, we're a long ways away from 39, but on the same accord, it's not too far away if Bitcoin starts making all-time highs again, which I do feel like Bitcoin has that, that, that potential this week, okay? Having said that, we look at liquidation delta, and uh, for the most part, we can see AVAX is essentially still on the short side, shorter, heavy side, basically implying that people feel like the price is going to go down further than it would continue to increase. I think a lot of that's just based on the simple fact that Bitcoin has been pulling back and kind of been very it's been very sporadic lately and uh it's difficult to it's, it's difficult to to maintain longer term trades right now okay because there's just such a large range of how bitcoin is i mean 89,000 93,000 it just it just doesn't know what it wants to do it's very very manic <laughs> for lack of better terms so if we zoom in here we can see the heaviest concentration of open interest where people are more interested in taking trades here is between basically 34.50 and 35.50. Round number $35 is that centermost area that's likely gonna be our point of control here. So anything over $35 is a good, a good area of interest for people, okay? And that implies sustainability too. So when we look at the charts here, we can kind of see that the most amount of interest people have so far in the last, you know, what, that's mostly about a week's worth of trading since the 11th. We've seen 34.20, basically $34 is a round number, is that uh, that area of support. So with us being above that, it's a very, very good sign to kind of be ranging here, okay? Uh, again, generally speaking, unless Bitcoin were to pull back pretty significant right now, which is still possible, by the way, then we would see AVAX uh, likely continue higher, okay? So a lot of the success is hinged on Bitcoin. But if we compare the charts, let's do this really quick while we're on the hourly. It helps kind of see what the price action looks like. We can see we're coming up, established higher highs, uh, basically parallel lows in a lot of ways, and then lower highs as well. Bitcoin is essentially establishing lower highs and now higher highs. So it's, I wouldn't say this is inverse by any stretch, but you can see AVAX pushes a lot harder when Bitcoin's doing, uh, going sideways. And then when Bitcoin cracks itself, it tends to work itself into a range. So again, understanding the difference between two coins or more so the correlation is important. While it doesn't like help tell us a ton, oftentimes it'll tell you that certain coins are paired better or worse than Bitcoin. Right now, I'd say the more recent price action makes sense. We don't see aggressive sell-offs from AVAX right now with Bitcoin pulling back. But we also don't see like monumental increases too. However, if you look at this, you can see a pretty definitive resistance range here. One, two, three, four, five. Five out, five out of the last eight days in trading, we've seen a consistent rejection at 3580. 
Okay, so closing above 3580 would probably be that little catalyst to let us know that ABAX is ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we're going to be looking for that. I would say a closure above 36 is a safe round number would be ultimately what we're looking for. Uh, we can see we're getting closer to 70 in the RSI on the daily. Money flow index is quite high though. Uh, unlike other coins, we're seeing consistency in volume now. Okay, a lot of coins are kind of dipping a lot. AVAX, as a matter of fact, including weekends, has been above its moving average, which is a very good sign. We're already above that today, and we still got about three or four hours left of trading. So uh, this is awesome. We like to see this here. Let's take a quick look at the four-hour time frame, see what's going on here. We can see a pretty solid amount of support here at 3480. So I'd say 3480 is that uh, support and or resistance level, depending on which side we're on. If we break below, we can presume it'll continue to work as a resistance for us. Okay. Uh, again, there's a lot of different patterns you could extract here saying that we're like, we're at the beginning of a, uh, you know, head and shoulders. There's, I think it's a bit of a stretch though, folks, when you see patterns on charts, which I'll draw them all the time, um, they're just kind of like a, a secondary or tertiary like benefit. You should never take a trade based on that. While they can carry a high success rate, they carry a high success rate because there's an established direction. Right now in the four hour time frame, we're getting close to this little shift in momentum. So if we break below 50 on the RSI, just say we close about below 3480, then that would be a cause for concern for AVAX and a likelihood of further downside. However, between now and then, Stochastic's swinging up, MACD's trying to converge, well, not even close, but it's certainly bottoming out. We can see a lot of reasons why we're more likely gonna say, stay in this range and go higher, pending Bitcoin doesn't make a run sub 90K. So if we look here, Bitcoin did test like 90,000 here just a moment ago. It was like it was at 89,800 somewhere in there. We saw a wick down just below 90K. When that happened, AVAX wicked down to about 3440. Okay. So to give you perspective, that's still above that point of control. So maintaining that range is awesome. Okay. So again, if we don't close below 3420, I think AVAX should be in pretty good shape uh, for potential continuation higher. We look at the hourly time frame too. We can recognize here as well that the Ichimoku cloud is telling us it's a bit of a mixed bag, but we're soon to break back up above the cloud and be free and clear of it. So again, it's all the more reason why a $35.50, $36 or higher candlestick closure that'd be important uh, for multiple reasons here. First of all, we got this descending type of trend. While it's not perfect, you can see the price is still establishing lower highs, right? And that's why trend lines are helpful. They just kind of help you identify, you know, lower highs and higher low patterns. With it still establishing lower highs, that's generally a bearish sign, right? At least in the short term. However, if the price can come up here and kind of do one of these, essentially breaking its local high, kind of bouncing off that level, then we're going to be in pretty good shape to see the price action continue higher. Again, that requires $36 or higher, preferably near the end of today's trading day. So if we get a closure at 36 or higher and Bitcoin is maintaining its 92, 93K range, it's a very strong likelihood that AVAX will continue upwards. So again, I know it sucks that I have to kind of give you a caveat every time I give you an analysis on an altcoin. You know, it's like, it just depends on how Bitcoin works. Well, that's really the foundation there. That's why understanding how Bitcoin is moving at all times is extremely important. So if you're gonna be trading altcoins, literally the first thing you do is look at Bitcoin, understand the comparison between the two coins you're looking at, and then take a trade based on the overall success rate of that. Here at this point, based on us kind of, uh, you know, looking pretty solid here in this range, even though it's a descending type of train on smaller time frames, it's still a very decent macro can progression. I think we're in really, really good shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a playout chart on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. I'll clean up the charts here for us and just give you perspective on what I feel is going to happen with this coin. And generally speaking, it's looking pretty positive here. We're still respecting our ascending trend. Bitcoin's maintaining its 90K plus range. I think there's more likelihood for further upside here. This could also be the beginning of, and keep in mind, this is just a candlestick pattern. But again, you kind of see a, a bit of a cup here, right? And then generally a cup is followed by a handle, right? And the handle is typically a, a breakdown uh, to essentially retest its local highs, which is this guy right here. So I think there's a solid chance we see a breakout and a continuation higher. A lot of this is pending on Bitcoin, obviously uh, doing well, but I think there's a decent chance we're gonna see that. I do feel like Bitcoin's gonna continue upwards. We're in profit currently on a long position with Bitcoin, just to give you some perspective. So um, all in all, looking quite favorable here. So either way, be on the lookout for that. I'll post the playout chart here shortly. And I do wanna say thank you again for being an awesome part of my life. Uh, do yourself a favor too, if you haven't already, join us over with BitUnix. There's still 10 days left in this prize pool. And I got 60K spread out amongst the top 20 traders. I tell you what, it's a pretty significant benefit. So awesome stuff there. Check them out. They're a really, really good exchange. Link down below. Make sure you use my link to register if you want to be eligible for this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, though. Thanks again so much for your time. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.